time to go one-on-one -on -one with linebacker Camus Grugier-Hill, presented by our friends at Bob's Discount Furniture. He's already looking at my questions, <laughs> uh, and that, my friends, is a vet move. The timeliness of this is impeccable, so shout to our producer, Ray mm -hmm. Doyle, for getting yeah, you in here yeah. because we've got the New England Patriots yeah. in town on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Perhaps difficult to quantify what this game means to you. How do you best put it into words? Um, I mean, you're going against the greatest quarterback of all time, you know what I mean? And um, I think it's an exciting game, exciting point in our season. And, um, you know, obviously a team that I was fortunate enough to be on for a little bit. So it's all, all around exciting. Yeah, it's the first time you guys yeah. have faced each other since, you know, Super Bowl 52. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. a lot of emotion in the mix, too. Yeah. But this is, you know, you, you talk about going 1-0, and right? Mm -hmm. I mean, is that the mentality of, of your team? Yeah, for sure. I mean, we're not looking ahead, back, or anything. Um, you know, if anything, that bye week kind of put us in a good situation to forget the first half of the season and move on and, and start, a, start with a 1-0 season. You've played 50 games with the Eagles mm -hmm. since you were drafted by New England, sixth round, 2016 NFL draft. Bill Belichick, on his weekly conference call with reporters on Tuesday, singled out your speed and athleticism mm -hmm. as things he's got to keep an eye on. He knows best, right? <laughs> uh, well, where would you say your game is at here as we enter this Week 11 matchup? Um, yeah, I mean, you know, uh, coming into this game, you obviously, with the Patriots personnel and stuff, they got a lot of, like, speed running backs. Um, you know, Brady doesn't like to hold on to the ball. He gets things out quick. So it's going to, I think, uh, that those attributes are kind of going to be uh, good for this game, be able to run around a little bit and, and, and uh, chase down the ball. Yeah, that short passing game, right? Mm -hmm. James White, yep. particular, 44 yep. catches exactly. for 404 yards and a touchdown, but who's counting? You're going to keep <laughs> him in check. Uh, specifically, what is it about this rivalry with New England? Mm -hmm. You've been on both. You've been behind enemy lines. You've been here in Philly. What, what mm -hmm. makes it so special? I think it's just the fan base. Both fan yeah. bases are, are wild. Obviously, no one can match Phillies. Uh, you know, Boston, they're, they're, they're spoiled up there. They're, like, kind of, you know, a little <laughs> different. But um, here, you know, these you are die- You can see the headline yeah, yeah. now. You can see the headline <laughs> now. No, I'm just these kidding. Are, these are some, you know, diehard guys here. And I think the city is two great cities, two, two great sports cities in general um, going at it. So it's going to be fun. Hey, take me back to your recruiting story because mm -hmm. it's fascinating. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with it, but you, you played soccer up yeah. until what, junior year of high school and then football kind of took over? And Yeah, I, I played soccer throughout my whole life. Yeah. Kind of when I got into high school, um, wanted to dabble around in some other sports and stuff. And then when I started playing my junior year football, I didn't play much actually. So then uh, my senior year was really the only year I had of tape and, and I just fell in love with the sport and Crazy. took off from there. And they yeah. found you in Hawaii. Yeah. It was actually Dino Baber, the yeah. head coach of Syracuse. Yeah. Um, he played his uh, college ball at Hawaii, and he had some coaches out there. So you know, I guess he wanted to take a, take a vacation and come check it out. And he uh, sat down with me and offered me on the spot. Yeah. yeah it was a cool at, story. Look at you now. You, you ran a 4.4740 coming out. Mm -hmm. uh, you've only elevated your game since. One of the fastest and best at coverage linebackers mm -hmm. in the NFL. Uh, what gives you the edge in this matchup? How, how do you counter what New England has going on? Well, I think for me, too, I, I, I've been there. I, I um, had a few practices with them up there. Um, I know kind of their personnel and what they're like. Um, and just watching film on them, you know, you, you see uh, like how we talked about James White and um, his ability to stay out in coverage. He's like another receiver, basically, but he also can run the ball. So. Um, for me, I think just getting in there and be able to um, cover some guys and, and, and do my thing. Your agent is based mm -hmm. in Las Vegas, mm -hmm. the Ninth Island, where yeah. I grew up. We talked about this off camera. Good friends with Steve and his wife, mm -hmm. Natalie. And he told me something I got to get to the bottom of here. Oh, no. All right? Yeah. So Zach Ertz, also yeah. represented by Steve. And he told me, you're looking at my notes, <laughs> that's it. That'll teach me. Uh, he told me that you and Zach Ertz bicker Quote, I quote here, bicker like a married couple. <laughs> what is that about? Uh, you know, ever since I got here, I, uh, you know, me and Zach kind of just, you know, uh, like elevated to, or yeah. towards each other and stuff. So, and every year our friendship kind of just grew and grew. So, and we're both competitors and obviously we go against each other a lot and in, 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 um, especially during training camp. So, um, it's just everything, every little thing with the jokes and, and everything. It just Every day is something new. It's if, deeper than it, that, yeah, though, isn't it? You yeah. guys, in a spiritual yeah, level. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I mean, um, you know, he's a big part of my faith, and we're yeah. a big part of each other's faith, and, and being able to hold each other accountable with certain things and come to each other and actually talk to each other, I think that's why it gives us a, a deeper uh, mm -hmm. 
deeper relationship where we can actually like be able to be at each other's neck like yeah, that. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. All right. So I understand now Steve's yeah. assessment there. Mm -hmm. um, listen, you're your team captain, mm -hmm. second straight season, wearing that C on your jersey. Mm -hmm. What does that mean to you? I think Camus? for me more than anything, it just uh, in times of adversity, you know, and when uh, guys need people to step up and make big play, that's uh, is where I f find where I need to step up. You know, it's more of like I'm not more much of a vocal leader. I think more um, on the field kind of um, in my performance, you know, and um, just especially, you know, people don't really remember anything except the November and December games. That's all that really matters. So, um, you know, well this, ti this time in, uh, of the season, it's important to step up. Spoken like a vet there. Mm -hmm. uh, what doesn't our what don't our viewers know about you? <laughs> what don't we know? I'm an open book. I think everyone yeah. knows. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty. Is what you see is what you get. Well, show us something on Sunday, yeah, huh? Yeah. All right. Sounds Thanks so good. much for your Thank time. You very that much. is one on one, my man. Thank you. Good luck. Appreciate that. We'll see you next time.